One of the most common questions that I get asked is, how did we come to develop the mindsets that we currently have? And I feel like there's two general answers to this question. One is our past life's experience or our experience in life up until now, and then our current culture. Each of these things shapes our current mindsets. Let me touch on each of those. When we look at our life's experience, this can be at any point in our life, we've gone through experiences that have shaped how we see the world, the things that we value, the things that we find important. Let me give you an example that stems from some mindset research. Research has found that children who are complimented with labels by their parents, such as you are so smart, you are so funny, or you are so pretty, they tend to take on more of a fixed mindset. They believe that this is who they are and they have to be this way at all times. And if they're not sp smart, pretty, or funny, then that says something bad about them. But children who are complimented, not with labels, but with encouragement, such as, oh, you work so hard. You're putting in a lot of work. I'm really proud of your effort. People who are complimented like that tend to take on more of a growth mindset. So the mindsets that we take in life can be shaped by rather small things like compliments, but also big things like trauma. That could be big T trauma or that could be little T trauma. Because what trauma does is it essentially causes us and incentivizes us to self-protect, to pull inward, to protect ourselves more, to put up layers, to put up boundaries around us so that we aren't hurt again. And that just causes us to take on more negative, self-protected mindsets that just aren't very cognitively and emotionally sophisticated. They're justifiable because they're protecting us in some form or fashion but they're just generally not very cognitively and emotionally sophisticated. So that's kind of our life's experience. When it comes to our current culture, well, our current culture can impact how self-protective we feel like we need to be. If we operate in a negative culture, we will create those boundaries around us and we will try to self-protect. And we will take on more of the negative mindsets, again, which are justifiable because there's a protective element here but they're just generally not very cognitively and emotionally sophisticated. So one of the best things that leaders can do and managers can do is to focus on ensuring psychological safety within the group. Because when there's psychological safety, people don't feel like they have to self-protect. They don't have to be these turtles that are putting their heads and arms into their shells all the time. Because can a turtle ever make a difference in the world with its head in its shell? No, we've got to be at least willing to keep our heads out, but hopefully we have an environment that is conducive to that as well.